Okay. Um, this pencast is on converting back and forth between logs and exponents. And my name is Jody DeBeau. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm just going to run through some examples. Um, see how this goes. We're going to start with logs first and convert those into exponents, the exponential form. Um, and then we'll just kind of try to generalize to um, a rule. And then we'll go in the other direction. Okay, so let's start off here. Log base 2 of 8 equals 3. Now when I convert that over into exponential form, the way that goes is the 2 is the base, the 3 is the exponent, and the 8 is what results when you take that base of 2 and raise it to the exponent of 3. So if I take the base 2, raise it to the exponent of 3, I get the result 2 cubed equals 8. Okay, And I would read this um, when you're doing your homework or going through exercises. I would get in the habit of reading that in that form. That is, I would say log base 2 of 8 is 3 and read it that way and that way you can pick out what the base is um, and then from there uh, as I said the 3 is the exponent and and the only number left over is the result so let's try that again let's say log base 3 of 81 equals 4 okay so again the 3 is the base the 4 is the exponent and then the 81, I'm going to call the result. Okay, so convert that over into exponential notation. The base is 3, the exponent is 4, result 3 to the 4th is 81. Okay, so that's my first example, my second example. Let's go on to the third. I have log base 10 of a thousand equals. Okay, this time I'm not going to put anything in there for what it equals and I'm going to move it over to exponential notation so that I can see what it is equal to. Okay, again the base is 10. Okay, and whatever goes here I'm going to put a question mark. I'm saying 10 raised to what power is a thousand? Okay, 10 raised to the question mark has to equal a thousand. Okay, so 10 raised to what power gives you 1,000? The answer is 3. Okay, so log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3 because 10 cubed is 1,000. Okay, let's go again. Log base 7 of 1 equals what? Okay, I'll give you a minute to think about that. Log base 7 of 1 equals what? So when I'm saying log base 7 of 1 equals, equals this value of the question mark, what I'm saying is the base is 7. I need to know what I'm going to raise it to in order to get back to 1. So 7 raised to what power gives me 1? The answer is 0. Okay, because... 7 to the 0 power is 1. Okay, how about this one? Log base A of 1 equals what? Okay, think about that for a second. The base is A. I'm asking what should I raise A to, where A is any number, to get back to 1. Okay, so I'm saying A raised to what gives me back to 1. And, of course, that has to be 0. So what I've shown then here is log base of anything, log base anything of 1 always has to equal 0. Okay, how about this one? Um, log base 8 of 8 equals what? Okay, log base 8 of 8 equals what? Okay, so what I'm asking is 8 raised to what power? gets me back to 8. 
Okay, 8 raised to what power gives me back to 8? Well, that means 1. Because 8 raised to the first power gives you back to 8. Can we generalize this one? That is, log base a of a has to equal what all the time? So I'm asking a raised to what power gets me back to a all the time? And of course the answer is 1. Because a raised to the first power, no matter what a is, gets me back to a. Okay, how about log base 10 of 0 equals what? Okay, so what is that asking me? That's saying 10 raised to what power gives me 0? 10 raised to what power gives me 0? Well, I mean, the logical choice there, I guess, uh, you know, you're not going to pick something like 1,000. That doesn't make any sense. Um, maybe 1. Well, 10 to the first, uh, 10 to the first is 10. That's not going to do it. The next kind of logical choice, I guess, is 0, but 10 to the 0 is 1. Um, 10 to the 0 power is 1, so that doesn't work. The answer here is there's nothing. There's nothing that I can raise 10 to in order to get 0. And that is why that's undefined. You can't take the log no matter what the base is of 0. So log base anything of 0 is undefined. Okay, um, let's try some natural logs. Okay, so let's try this one. <clears throat> um, ln 1. Well, what ln means is log base e. That's what the ln um, is shorthand for. Uh, ln is, stands for natural log. So that's log base e, where e is your natural number. And then the 1 is there. So this ln part translates over to log base e, okay, where e is the subscript. So log base e of 1 is equal to, well, we've said it before, the log base anything of 1 has to equal um, 0 because e to the 0 is 1. Okay. Um, how about ln of e? Well, let's translate it over first. That means log base e of e. And so we're asking e to what power gets me back to e. And again, we've generalized that before. That has to be 1. Okay, log base e of e has to be equal to 1. So that means then that the natural log of e is 1. Okay, um, I have one more example here, and then we'll start going in the opposite direction. How about log base 16 of 4? Okay, so if I translate that over, what that means is 16 raised to what power gets me 4? Okay, 16 raised to a power equals 4. Okay, so what's different about this? Um, the thing that I think that makes this different is you're starting off with a big number on this side and a small number on this side. So if you take 16 and raise it to the first power, you're already too big. 16 squared is even bigger. So um, using numbers like that, 1, 2, 3, obviously is not going to get you down to 4. 0, 16 to the 0 power is 1. So I think maybe we can see since um, 16 to the 0 is 1 and 16 to the 1 is 16, it looks like that exponent then has to be somewhere between 0 and 1 to make that work. The answer is a half. Okay, so um, 16 raised to the half power is 4. And the reason why that's true is if you remember back to radicals and fractional ex exponents, the half power stands for square root. And the square root of 16 is 4. If you've forgotten that rule, what that says is, <clears throat> um, let's see if I have x here, I have m as our index and n as our power there, then that's equivalent to um, n x to the n over m. And this converts you back and forth between radicals and fractional exponents. Okay, and that's an important rule to remember. Okay. 
All right, so let's then go in the other direction. Um, I guess before we go in the opposite direction, um, let's just generalize this. We said then log, and I'm just going to make up some letters here, log base A of X equals Z. Okay, to switch that over into exponential notation, what we've been doing is saying if the base is A, okay, that's my base, Z is the exponent, and then x is the result. So if I transform that over into exponential notation, a is the base, z is the exponent, and then x is the result. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite that one more time here. I'm going to say log base a of x equals z. Moving over to exponential notation is a to the z equals x. Okay, so that's kind of the generalized rule there, I guess, to go between logs and exponents. Now let's go in the opposite direction. We're just going to turn this rule around. Okay, so here's my first example. Um, let's just do 7 squared equals 49. Now I want to move this over into uh, logs. So I'm going to write down my log. Okay, the next thing I want to know is what is the base. So the 7 is the base that goes there. Um, the result goes in the middle here, 49, and then the exponent. Okay, so uh, base here transfers over to base here. Exponent here, okay, translates over to the exponent over here. And then the result. Okay, that's that, and over here that's the 49, the result. Okay, so let's try again. Um, let's do 100 to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Transform that over. I'll write down LOG. The base, that's the 100. The exponent goes on the other side of the equal sign, so that's the 0. And then the result goes on the same line as the LOG and the equals and the zero. The 100 is a subscript. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's do this again. Um, let's do 5 cubed equals 125. Write down my LOG. The base, that's the 5. The exponent is 3, that goes over there. And then the result goes there, 125. Um, another one. How about do, let's do 64 to the 1 half equals 8. Okay, so I write down my LOG. The base goes as a subscript below the LOG. The exponent goes over here on the right-hand side of the equals, and then the result just goes inside the log there. Okay, remember again that the half power means square root. So really what that's saying is the square root of 64 is 8. Okay, I just have a couple more examples. Um, actually, I guess I just have one. Let's call it done. I have, this is kind of tricky, I guess. It is 8 to the negative one-third power. Now, um, let's see if we know what that is without actually me telling you. Uh, so 8 to the negative one-third power, that means... First, I want to get rid of this negative exponent. So to get rid of the negative exponent, I put it down on the bottom. When I put it down on the bottom of a fraction like that, it makes that exponent be positive. Okay, so the rule I'm using there is uh, x to the negative n equals 1 over x to the positive n. Okay, so I made the negative exponent into a positive exponent. That is essential to do that. It's not a choice. You have to do that because remember what the exponent is trying to tell you. It's trying to tell you how many times to multiply the 8 by itself. And it doesn't make any sense to multiply it by a negative number. I'm not quite sure it makes sense to do it to the one-third power for that matter, but it certainly doesn't make sense the negative. Okay, now we're here, 1 over 8 to the one-third power. As we've said before, those fractional exponents transform over into um, radicals. 
So that means the cube root then of 8. Cube root of 8. So 1 over the cube root of 8 is 1 half. So I'm going to take this 8 to the negative 1 third, which I've just shown is a half, and I want to translate that over into logs. So I write down my LOG. My base goes here. Exponent always goes on the right hand side of the equals, and then the result inside. Okay, um, let's try before we totally leave this up, I guess let's try um, a natural log. So let's say the natural log of the natural log of uh, 1. Now let's say the natural log of 7. Natural log of 7 is equal to, let's see if we know what it's equal to before we translate it over. Remember LN means LOG um, base E of 7. Well, that's some number. Um, let's see, the best I can do, I guess, is just write it as, well, uh, let's put an X in there. Um, I, there is, there's not a nice number that answers that question. What this question is asking is E raised to some number gives you 7. And while I can approximate it, I couldn't really do that without a calculator. Okay, so now let's move this over into, whoops, we were going from logs to exponents, and I think I went the other way. Um, anyway, let's finish this out. It's e to the, the base is e, and then the exponent is x, and then that's back to 7. So we went actually the wrong way on that one. Let, let's do one more like that. That was a log to an exponent, and we were doing exponents to logs. All right, so let's try that again. Um, let's say e raised to the z power equals 100. And let's switch that back into logs. So to switch it back to logs, I write down my LOG. The base is e, the exponent is z, and then the result, 100, goes on the inside here. Okay. Now I can rewrite that because we have shorthand notation for base e. The shorthand for notation for base E, of course, is natural log. So I would write that as ln of 100 equals z. Okay, so this and this and the final statement are all equivalent. Okay, should we try that one more time? Since we made a goof back up here in number six, we went the wrong way. Okay, let's try that one more time. Let's say, let's say e to the third power equals, and I don't know what that number is, so I'm going to put a letter in here instead. And I'm going to move this over into uh, log notation. So I'm going to say log. I'm going to write down the base. The base is e. Um, the exponent goes on this side, and then the y, the result goes here. So it's e to the third equals y. Okay? e to the third equals y. Base, exponent, result. Uh, let's spell that out. Base, exponent, result. Okay, so log base e, y equals 3. I wouldn't leave that that way. The log base e, we have shorthand for that. That's ln. The log base e goes over to ln, y equals 3. That would be my final answer. Okay, um, so that gets you back and forth between logs and exponents. I hope you found that helpful.